Hey, what is going on everybody? Aaron here from Break the Internet and welcome back to another video today on the channel. Now, Instagram TV has been out for a little bit over a month now. And how would you like to create some content like this? If you answered yes to that question, then you guys are in luck because for this video, I've actually partnered up with my friends over at Animotica, where they're actually supplying a version of this desktop app for you guys. All you gotta do is click the first link in the description. I'm gonna be going over some of the things that you must know when you download Animotica for the first time and showing you a couple of effects that I achieved in this short edit at the beginning of the video. Best part is you don't really even need to know how to edit with Premiere, Final Cut, or even Windows Movie Maker. So without further ado guys, let's get into the video. All right guys, so moving over to the computer, we're gonna go ahead and break today's video into three different parts. Number one is going to be kind of the, fe the basic features, uh, some of the things that you should know when you're downloading this program and using it for the first time. Part number two is going to be me kind of explaining the features and how I did some of the effects that I did in the edit at the beginning that you saw, kind of the example of me making coffee. And then part number three is gonna be some best practices, how to get some of the best results out of creating your vertical videos, putting them on Instagram TV, and then what you should be doing for best practices as far as how to edit them, um, how to post them and all that good stuff. Also going back into the storytelling of everything. Part number one is going to be, like I said, the just kind of explaining a little bit about what this program is. So when you first open up the program, there's going to be a couple different options. These are kind of the quick edit tools. So as you can see, you can trim the video, you can add effects and adjust, you can add music to the video. So if you don't really want to get too in depth with anything, uh, you can go ahead and let's just say you have a really quick, like one or two clips that you want to add music to, you want to stitch them together. The movie maker tool would be the best for you because it's going to put the background music and then it's gonna stitch together the videos and the pictures that you might add in there. Uh, let's say you just wanted to make it slow more fast motion then you can go ahead and use that feature right there but you can go ahead and go through these if you wanted to but for the purpose of the video we're gonna go ahead and edit or start a new project and this is one of the best parts I think of this Animotica software is that you don't have to know too much about the the program with Adobe or not with Adobe Premiere with uh, Final Cut with programs like that you have to have a general knowledge of what you're using and how you're editing with the program but for this we can change the aspect ratio and basically change it to whatever we want and have it fit any of the platforms that we want to post it to so obviously for widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio we can use it for YouTube Facebook Twitter all that good stuff but we're gonna be using it for vertical and we're gonna use the nine by 16, so we can use it on our IGTV, Instagram stories, Facebook stories, anything that you're gonna have in the vertical format up and down on your phone. So I'm just gonna click create project. And for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and click add clips. A Couple different things you can do. You can make a video or a photo. So using your webcam, you can do that. Um, you can add a color clip. So let's just say you wanted to add like a black screen or a blue screen or a red screen, whatever. You can add it there. And then you can also add video or your photo clips. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna go ahead and add this little video of me smiling and then a video that I had uh, with me and Tanner Fox. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. You can see that those two clips are there. Let's say I wanted this one before that one. Boom, drag and drop, easy as that. Nothing crazy as far as the timelines but this is 15 seconds and 15 seconds down there. This is essentially your timeline. So if I wanted to look exactly what this looks like, I can click play. And then as you see the timeline going by, it's gonna show our clip. And yeah, so as I bring that through, bring let's say the timeline to the next clip, it's going to go into that part and I'm for some reason out of focus, but that's besides the fact. So let's just say I wanted to, I don't know, if I wanted to trim this clip a little bit, I can click the clip anytime you want to edit it, you just clip, click that clip. You can split it, trim it, change the speed. So if you want to make it super slow-mo, fast motion, whatever, you can fit it to the screen, rotate the video if I wanted to. So if I wanted to have it sideways, I can do that. Clicking rotate, bring it back to the beginning with, by clicking it three times. I can flip it either to go one way or the other. I can transform so I can make that smaller or bigger. And the cool thing about it is, is let's just say, because this is a, an originally a widescreen video, I can go ahead and put that 
to the screen like that. And as you can see, it does that kind of generic like blurring on the top and bottom. So you don't have to do all the, the fancy stuff that you usually have to in like Premiere or Final Cut. You can just go ahead and put it in the program just like that. And it does that for you automatically. So you don't just have like, the weird black bars um, on the top and bottom. But for the sake of this, we'll, we'll make it a little bit bigger so it's not as blurry on the top and bottom, but we'll just keep it like that. So when we go back, but I don't want this first clip to be that long. I actually wanna cut this down a little bit. So I'm gonna go to my trim tool. I'm gonna click trim slider. And as I bring this, this is right here is gonna be the beginning of the clip. And this over here is the end of the clip. You can see it's 15 seconds, but I don't want it that long. So I'm gonna just actually bring this to the part where I'm featured in it. And as I scrub through, it's about right there. So we'll go ahead and do like right there when he's looking up and click play. And I want it to end there. So what's gonna happen there, or actually I just bring this, drag it to where I want it to end. And I want it to end when I'm done talking. And I click back and we're good. So now, as you can see, we just get that first section of me and it's going to, whoops, and then it's gonna transition into that next section. So let's just say that I wanna transition in between those two clips. I click the transition and there's so many really awesome transitions. I love the blur one that it has down here. And as you can, at the beginning, you probably saw that I had that little blur transition in there, directional blur. And then I can click the duration of the blur. So let's, the direction or the duration. So let's just say I want it to go for an, an entire second. I can bring that drag or that slider as much as I want to. I'm gonna click back. And if I bring the slider back to the front, you're gonna see that it blurs right into that next clip. So there's so many other things that you can do. Let's just say I go to this clip, I can change the background. So if this clip was a little bit smaller, I can change the background instead of having it like a blurry background, I can change the color, but I'm just gonna keep it in the blur. And then you can do the motion. So let's say you wanted to scale it up, let's scale it down, make it bigger or smaller, you can do that. You can change the effect for, so for each individual clip, if you wanted to add, let's say some kind of filter, you can do that going through all of them. And then to see what it looked like before, you just click this little compare button, you hold it down and you can see that it changes to what it was and what it is after that filter. But I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it as none. So let's just say you want to add some music. You can go ahead and do that as well by clicking over off of one of the clips, click audio. You can do a couple different things. You can add audio or you can add a voiceover if you wanted to add you know, some crispy voiceover to your clip. You can click plus, you can add any of the clips that they already have. That's kind of cool. Let's say we just wanted to add that in. We can add it and we can change or bring that to where it starts, where it ends. So let's just say I wanted to start it at the very beginning. And then when I play it, just a little, little background music. Transition to the next one, right? Cool. So when I do that and I play it back again, oh, I, don't, I think I, no, I didn't have the music on there, my bad. So yeah, getting at the very beginning, boom, and it adds the music into it. So other than that, if you wanted to add like, let's say text or anything, you would click this overlay section, you would click plus, add text, add stickers, add photo or whatever. You click add text, let's just say, I wanna say hello all. And there's a lot of really awesome transitions and stuff you can use for this to come in as well, but you can use this, these little tools to rotate. I wanna go and undo that. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can put it wherever you want. And then down below, there's so many things you can do. You can change the font of that. You can change the motion. You can change the font color. You can change the shadow, opacity, the location. You can literally change anything with those text tools down at the bottom. So for the sake of this tutorial, guys, I'm not gonna spend too much more time going over these features. You really just gotta kinda download it and look through all the features and experiment with yourself. But I do want to jump over to how I did some of the effects that I did in that first section. So I'm not gonna go super in depth of every single effect that he added in my edit, but I wanna show you guys how to do a speed ramp in Animotica. I think it's a really awesome kind of transition into two clips if you wanted to use it that way. Essentially what the speed ramp is, I'll show you an example on screen, but basically you have one clip, there's two different things, happening that the first clip happens and then you speed everything up in between the two clips and then the second thing happens so it's kind of this transition instead of just having one thing happen and then cutting directly to the next it, it's really cool and I think it's an effect that everybody should know how to do
So this is going to go ahead and assume that you already got all the video on your phone or you use your camera filming vertically to get all of your clips and export everything onto your computer. Once you've done so, you will then go to new project. You'll make a new project and I'm gonna go ahead and name it coffee. And I'm gonna change this to my Instagram TV vertical style and I'm gonna click create project. So being that you recorded it in vertical, if you're com coming from your camera, you're gonna have to do some rotation on the clips. So I'm gonna add some video clips. I believe it was this clip that I wanted to use to show this example. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. As you can see, it's gonna be a sideways clip because I filmed it sideways on my camera. And what, all I gotta do is click it, click rotate, and boom, we automatically have the clip that we want, but we don't want the entire thing. So what I want to happen here is I want me, so I'll just show you the clip really quick. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm going in to grab the pot, I'm moving over, and I'm filling up the thing, filling up the, the canister with water. So, but I don't want that whole thing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click trim and trim the slider. And I'm gonna go to the part where I want it to start and where I want it to end. So essentially I wanna start the clip where I grab the coffee and I want to end it on a part where I was filling up the water in the coffee pot. So let's just say it's like right there. So if I play that back, I'll make sure, after I bring the slider to the beginning, I'll make sure this is exactly what I want. So I'm grabbing the thing, I'm moving it over, but as you can see, it's kind of boring because it's like I grab it and then it's like slow moving over, I grab it and then I start filling it up. So to fill in that empty space, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and I'm gonna split this clip in the middle where I want it to pause. So what I, what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna grab the pot and right here, I want it to start start to speed up. So I'm gonna click down here, I'm gonna click split. It's gonna go and split those two clips. So this first one is that first section that I, that I liked. The second section is gonna be the part that is me moving over. So I want it to go all the way until I start filling it up. I'm gonna stop it again. I'm then gonna click split one more time. And then this section that's in between is the one that I wanna speed up. So I'm gonna click the middle section. I'm gonna click speed and I'm gonna change this to, let's say two and a half, let's go 2.75. So once I click back, I don't think it's gonna play super smooth on here just because I'm doing recording on here and I have my camera going. So we're gonna play it back and see what it looks like. So in theory, just go, speed up, just like that. So I actually wanted to go a little bit faster, so I'm gonna change the speed. Let's change it to 3.25, go back, and then let's watch it again. So it's regular speed, speeds up, and then goes to this. So if you don't have the world's fastest computer, it's gonna be a little bit laggy when you're on here just because it's trying to render while you're doing this. So let's just say you have your clips, you're, you've added all the audio, you've added the effects that you wanted to. What we're gonna do here is go to save video, and then these are the different things that you can export it as. So for your videos, depending on how big of a file you think you can handle or your computer can handle or your phone can handle, you're gonna want to go ahead and put it at 1080, 720 if you want to. I just like 1080 because it's good quality. Uh, the frame rate, it all depends if you wanna put, if you have like slow-mo stuff in there, maybe 60 FPS. I usually t use 24 because it's like the cinematic standard. And then the bit rate is just gonna change the quality as well. So just depending on how you want that, keep in mind, the higher the bit rate, the higher the resolution, the higher the file size is gonna be. So I usually keep it, for Instagram's sake, I would keep it around a 12 megabyte, or sorry, 12 bit rate, and then I can go ahead and click save as, save it where I want to, and we'll look at it in just a second. So it's rendered, didn't take too long because it was a shorter clip, so when I click play, it happens, speeds up in between, and goes right back into it. Obviously, when you add color correction, when you add effects, when you add music, it's gonna look a lot better not really anything crazy because I just wanted to show you how to do the effect, but that's how you do a speed ramp. If you've watched this far into the video, I just wanna give you a huge high five because I know this is a little bit on the longer side, but being that I'm introducing a brand new program to you guys, I wanted to make sure that you have at least some background into how to use some of these features and you can make some of your own awesome content on the app. 
So as promised, part number three of this video is gonna be just kind of some tips and tricks on how you can better your experience with Instagram TV and how you can make sure that your engagement goes up and people are actually wanting to watch your content. So first of all, number one, out of everything, the most important thing, you can have the best camera, you can have the best music, you can have the best lighting, you can have the best, all that stuff. But if your storytelling is not on point and you're not telling a story through your Instagram TV videos or any video in general, it's gonna be really hard to keep people's attention. So with this, I just thought it was super simple because it was like a minute long clip of me making coffee, but you know that there's a beginning, there's a middle and an end. The beginning, obviously getting everything situated. You can see the coffee maker. And at the end, you are in the middle, you can see that I'm getting stuff to get it situated, I'm getting the water, I'm getting the coffee, all of that. And at the end, you are then left with the final product, you can see the coffee, I can drink it, and then your heart is satisfied because you know that I brought you from the beginning to the middle to the end, and there was a story to be told. Quick tip number two is to pick an epic song. On a lot of these bigger YouTubers pages or Instagram TV stars, you, the music that they pick is always on point. So I really like using Chill Hop, which is kind of the one that you listen to today, and something that goes along with the feeling of what's happening. So I'm making coffee, just think like maybe you're waking up in the morning to get your coffee, that's the music that I would wanna to listen to. If it's something adventurous, maybe you're out skydiving or whatever, do something like really fast, really fast paced, hip hoppy, travel stuff usually has that, so kind of, use the music to also go along with the storytelling and pick something that would go along with what would be happening if you were experiencing something that was going on in that clip. Quick tip number three goes back to the quality. So if all you have is your iPhone, I mean, these things capture amazing video quality, but if you have a DSLR, if you have some kind of external camera like this, either this is the Sony A or Sony A6300, if you have a Canon camera or a Nikon camera or even a GoPro, just make sure when you film on those, you film vertical like this. So when you bring it into the program, you keep the best quality and at the end of the day, like I said, it goes back to storytelling and you can do basically everything that you do on those cameras on something like a smartphone. And quick tip number four, the last one for today is to keep your clips very short and sweet. Even though my video was about 48 to 50 seconds, I made sure that each clip that was in there, it was switching every one to two seconds. So just a little reference here. These are the little clips down here. It changed. So the one second, one second, three seconds, two second, one second. If I go through here, there's probably nothing that was longer than five seconds or even longer than three seconds. So most of these clips were really short. I mean, this is the longest one that I have down here, four seconds long. Keep in mind, people have really short attention spans. So if you're not constantly switching from each clip and keeping keeping it moving, people are, you're gonna lose people and that's not what you wanna do. So make sure that you keep the clips short and sweet, add transitions and make sure you switch to each one as much as possible. And that is going to do it for today's video, guys. If you want to get your own version of Animotica, you can go and click the first link down in the description below to achieve some of the effects that I did at the beginning of this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like. It shows your support and gets this video out to so many more people that are frustrated with Instagram TV, don't really know where to go with it. This is gonna be the perfect video for them. Anyway, guys, my name is Aaron from Break the Internet, your number one stop shop for Instagram tips, tricks, updates, and everything you need to know about Instagram and all social media. Of course, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you next time time.